Well, again, looks like my premonition paid off once again. Um, I hate scooters. I like motorcycles. I hate scooters. Annoying, annoying sounding loud pieces of crap. Anyway, so down the street there in the corner, I just filmed the Impala SS circa 94th to 96th. And again, when I say premonition, I could have gone back up any street here to get up to Jean Talon Street to go get a bite to eat. And I went up this street, which I don't know what it's called, on a whim, or maybe it wasn't. I see the Sempala SS down there, check out the other video. And here we have a beautiful original 91 Cadillac Fleetwood Rome. And it's for sale. And I like that red striping. I don't think that's original. Uh, here's another oldie with no white wall tires. I found out recently that apparently white wall tires are very expensive now. Not surprising for anything that's not common anymore or commonly ordered. There's a trim missing there around the wheel well. It's got a dent there. It's a driver. Driver condition. You know. Good shape though. Kind of car you can get for peanuts practically. You know. Have yourself a nice, a nice ride there. Luxury, a true General Motors automobile. I hate this Mercedes. Yeah, pass me by, please. You call that a Mercedes? Come on. Beautiful. Uh, it's very, it's, it's in great shape, though. I don't think this car was driven in the winter. I have a friend who has one of these. Matter of fact, I think it's also a 91. And, uh, but his is a um, different shade of blue. Yeah. What's the undercarriage look like? Uh, got some rust, but it could be just surface rust. Man, it's got the leather interior. My friend's caddy doesn't have the leather interior. He's got the cloth seats. Very nice. Beautiful. Pain in the ass when it's cold and pain in the ass when it's too hot, but still. Little tear there on the uh, fold-out rest, harm rest there. And so what? It's still in great shape. Uh, one of these days, baby. If they could ever fix my eyes or... I'll get rich and get a driver who can drive me around there because, uh, you know, at 38 years of age, am I ever going to be able to drive legally? I have doubts now. And, unless maybe, again, I strike it rich somehow, I could have a driver drive me around. But would that really be the same? Uh, oh yeah, look, there's a trim piece missing here. Right there. Yeah. I don't know what happened to this car. Look. It's got a dent here. I saw a dent on the other side of the fender, I think. Yeah, something weird about this caddy. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I dig it. I love it almost more than anything on this street. Look, it's got a trim piece missing here, too. There's another piece missing. Bumper rubber there. That's weird. Well, how come this car's got missing so many missing pieces like that? This is strange. Nevertheless, this is a true GM car. A true car made in North America by General Motors, not one of these modern fucking cars that are, you might as well be called made by China Motors. You know what I'm saying? Christ. It's depressing. It's depressing, man. You know, for those of you who are not familiar with me and my videos, I grew up on General Motors, okay? My father had a 79 Delta 88 in the 80s. A neighbor next to us had an 80 Cutlass. The neighbor next to us on the other side had a 6,000 station wagon. The neighbor across the street had a Cutlass Sierra. And we had a neighbor uh, two doors over who uh, had a 66 Toronado, which you, uh, well, practically never saw. But anyway, so there you go. And I was thinking myself to finish off here. Oh yeah, this is a very heavily uh, Greek populated area, I should mention. And I'm going to go have some Greek made food, because they're the best. And um, yeah, I think uh, next time I come down here, I'm going to bring my bike and do some more exploring. Well, that's it for now. Adios.